it's pretty important to carry a spare tire with you when you have a trailer don't ask me why but trailers just seem to be much more prone to developing flats and blowouts than the vehicle towing the trailer itself um, there is probably an explanation in that uh, the trailer tires that they make, generally the Carlisles and stuff, a lot of them are made in China. They're made for trailer only. So uh, they're just for rolling, not for propulsion. And I think they're quite a bit lighter duty in that sense. I know that the beads are weaker on them. Because uh, after mountain tires and being in the tire business for almost 20 years, uh, I can. there's no question about that. So uh, what I did here is I made a bracket because this trailer here doesn't have any place really uh, underneath or otherwise that's designated for a spare tire. So what it does have are these stake post pockets. And uh, so what I did is I took a piece of uh, steel stock channel box tube channel whatever you want to call it and uh, I made these little pieces for it out of angle here you don't even have to use angle you can just bend your own welded them all together and uh, so I got this joker here that basically slides right down into the stake pocket and then I take my clamp piece right here and with that finger pointing that way, I just pop that joker in there. Get her tightened down. I welded a nut on the inside of this right in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in there or not, but nut welded in there. So she's pretty much secure there. Let's see if I can fit my big old impact in there. A big DeWalt impact. All right, that seems to be pretty easy. She's in. Okay, so yeah, that's going nowhere. That ain't going anywhere. You got these right here. Now the ideal thing to do, which I did not do because I did not have the materials in stock and I didn't want to travel back into town because I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. The ideal thing to do would be to get a couple of studs that match what you have on your trailer. And to weld those studs in, just like I did on these here. And uh, that way you have an extra couple of lug nuts if you have any problems. Uh, so, what we do now, I'll just take this old spare here, pretty nice spare at that. Set that joker up on there. Let me come over here so I can see where I'm at with all this. Hard to hold the phone and do everything by myself. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Now I'll just take my top lug nut here. This is actually a lug nut and stud but it's from a big Chevy so I'm towing this trailer with a Chevy and uh, you know I got an extra lug nut if I need it it's the 22 millimeter outside lug nuts that are standard with the old Chevrolets I got my DeWalt here this is a pretty nice little tool right here this impact That's that. Get my 22 or 7 8, whatever you want to call it. I'm old school, so I use the SAE stuff. Oh, and that joker is going on. Well. So it looks like I'm going to be taking that off and replacing that. 
But anyway, folks, you get the idea. It's a nice little bracket. It doesn't interfere in any way, shape, or form with um, the uh, deck of the trailer. It's pretty much right in line with the, the fender. Maybe sticking out there a little bit, but I'm sure that could be remedied some. I just didn't want it, you know, touching. I've got plenty of clearance all the way around, so there she is. You need a spare on your trailer. You can make something like that.